difference of teens. Believe it or not, it starts with you. What starts with you? Good parenting, the open door of communication, being available to your teen, creating an emotional safe environment for your teen. And this happens through empathic listening and validation. It happens by noticing those teachable moments. It happens by asking what questions. It happens by not lecturing, not judging, not always being in teaching mode. It also happens by doing as I do and as I say. So if you don't want them to yell at you, don't yell at them. If you don't want them to curse, don't curse. If you don't want them to be on their phone constantly, don't be on your phone constantly. If you don't want them to hit things when they're angry, don't hit things when you're angry. Our kids will pick up all our faults. I wish they could pick up our good points as easily as they pick up our faults, but somehow, and I have no idea why, it does not work like that. If you don't want them to blame other people when they're at fault, then take responsibility for your own mistakes. And when you hurt somebody, or you yell at your kid, or you hurt your kid emotionally, Apologize, own up to it, because you model for them that they also need to take accountability. Often, it is important to hear what is not said rather than what is said. When a teen curses, maybe they mean, I have no way of expressing my anger to you that will make you hear me, because in the past you haven't heard me. If a teen lies, Maybe it is because they feel that you judge them and won't listen to their viewpoint before responding. Listening to your teen means being present, not thinking about what you will say, how you will handle this, but just being present. Listening to your teen means acknowledging their feelings without evaluating those feelings. Listening to your teen means asking what questions rather than why questions. What were the things that made you decide to do that? Rather than, why did you do that? Are you happy with that decision? What would you do differently? It means keeping the dialogue open. Why questions shut them down and make them feel accused? When you really listen and your teen feels that you are not going to jump to conclusions, try to fix it, try to offer unsolicited advice, try to judge them, they will reveal even more. When you really listen, they become safe to be vulnerable with you, and only then will they be willing to hear what you have to offer in response.